We are here live from the Microsoft booth. This is TeacherCast Live from ISTE 2015. My name is Jeff Bradbury. I am sitting here with Jennifer. Jennifer, how are you today? I'm fabulous. How about yourself? I am doing fine. Is this your first ISTE conference? It is not. It's my second. What do you think this year? Um, it's crazy. There's tons of people. 25,000 educators all under one roof, all here to help out students. Pretty cool, isn't it? Fabulous. What do you think of Philadelphia? Um, this is my first time, so I've only seen a little bit, but it's, I love the history here. Uh, have you had a cheesesteak? I have had a cheesesteak. Have you had the ice cream? No. You've got to go to Reading Terminal Market for the ice cream. All right. It is absolutely fantastic. And when you do, you can take a picture of that ice cream, and you know what you can do with it? You can put it in your OneNote. I can do that. We You're are right. talking all about OneNote today and all the great stuff that you can do with OneNote. You're a OneNote user, aren't you? Uh, religiously. What do you do with OneNote? So I personally couldn't do my job without OneNote. What do you mean? Because it has simplified and organized everything that I do. So every day, I turn my computer on, I go straight to OneNote because that's where I find everything. My schedule, my notes for my teachers. I'm an instructional coach, so um, all of the stuff that I do with my teachers is organized within there. And then I'm collaborating with my team and other teachers across the district, all within OneNote. So you open up your computer and you turn on OneNote and it's there. So that means that... What happens if you have another computer? How do you get the information to another computer? So all of my OneNotes live online, so oh. I just have to sync it to whatever device I want to use that day, and I have access to everything. Well, what can go in OneNote? I see handwriting, I've seen pictures, I've seen... What kinds of things can you put in OneNote? Anything can live in OneNote. I can drop files, audio, video, inking, um, text, all within OneNote. I inking? inking this drawing right here. So if I have a touch device, I can ink right inside of OneNote. And how easy is this to start? I mean, there's a lot of teachers that are looking at this going, kind of intimidating, but I want to try it. So OneNote is a little bit of a mind shift because of the organization, but it works just like any other Office product. So I can, um, I, the ribbons look the same and everything like that. So it's a little bit easy to, from that perspective. It looks similar. So just diving right in. It's very colorful. This one is. Now, are you using OneNote with your students? So I have lots of teachers. I'm not, I don't have teachers, students myself, but I have teachers that are using it with their students for different projects to facilitate learning um, that they're doing with their students. What types of projects are you seeing? How is this helping students organize themselves? So um, a lots of research are hap is happening. I have teachers giving content to their students. They're using class notebooks, um, which is a special setup through Office 365. And um, the students, the teachers are giving content, and the students are turning in assignments through there and um, collaborating with their with their classmates. So the one interesting thing about this is this is not a solution for a math class. This is not a solution for a social studies class. This is a solution for every student every day. Absolutely. How are you seeing teachers use this? I bet this makes a great lesson plan organizer. Absolutely. So I have lots of teachers lesson planning. They can put all their resources. So they build their whole unit. They have all their tests, quizzes, worksheets, videos, whatever it is, all within OneNote. And it's organized. They all have access to it. Mm -hmm. um, and so teachers within a campus, teachers across the district are able to now collaborate where they didn't have that space before. So when I have a OneNote, am I saying this right? One note book? One note notebook. Can I ch share things around? I Give me the idea of how this is going to work here. So the OneNote notebook is basically the file, and it's the entire thing. So everything that you see here, all the sections and pages, are all part of that. So I would share the entire package file with them. So you can't touch there. You have to touch here. So, so these are all these sections would be part of what I share with my teachers. Excellent, excellent. Yes. So I see we have text, we have links, we got video, we got pictures. Then what? And so then we just, so it automatically is always syncing, always saving. And so we can be in here collaborating, putting what we need, organizing, and creating all that content together all within the OneNote, whatever computer we're on. And you said this is great no matter where you are. So in a BYOD school district, this could work. So if a student has a tablet, great. If a student has a phone, great. Anything works. Right, absolutely. OneNote is available on any device, and it's available for free on OneNote.com. And I have a big question to ask you. You're wearing a purple cape. I am wearing a purple cape. What is with the purple cape? My purple cape I have here, see if I can get it to come around, is all about being a OneNote Avenger. A one, what is a OneNote Avenger? It's somebody that loves OneNote and tells the world about OneNote. We, we have other people here with purple capes. Um, are, are you guys OneNote Avengers? Let me bring you guys up. Are you guys OneNote Avengers? Oh, yeah. 
So Jeff, we have a very special present for you. Uh -oh. Special ISTE present. You've seen these capes for a while. I've seen these capes I've for a while. I've seen you eyeing them with a little jealousy in your eye once in a while. There's a, there's a lot of jealousy in your But in Jeff, the eye. we know that you've earned this cape because <laughs> you have explored the power of OneNote. That is awesome. We're going to add it to you right now. Okay, get ready. You I'm ready? live on camera doing this. Oh, wow. that's beautiful. That yes. is awesome. Yes. Woo! This is, I'm a OneNote Avenger now. Yes, you, you are. So you the are. neat part about OneNote here, I want to bring on Mike and Ari to the, to the screen here. Come on in, guys. Now, OneNote is having a big impact in students all over the world. OneNote is helping students learn how much of a genius they are. Talk to us w about why that's important and how is OneNote sharing with kids just how important they are in this world. Well, I'll let you take that next one. How's that? Sure. So OneNote, oh, OneNote is really helping students realize their own genius by allowing the teacher to personalize the learning specifically to what they can do with the product. So think about it as a flexible canvas where they can insert documents, insert handwriting, whatever it is, they can put that into OneNote and learn the way that's most natural for them. And so in that way, I mean, students who might have special needs are able to then display their learning to, a, to their teacher in ways that they never were able to do before. So this is really giving kids a voice. This is really giving right. kids that opportunity to be themselves. And I mean, we talk about digital portfolios a lot, but this is really giving a chance th to those kids to be expressive. Precisely. Tell us a little bit about what a student can expect when they're working with OneNote. Is this something that we should be doing in high school, mm -hmm. in middle school, in elementary school? What is the... We get this question a lot, Jeff, and the thing to keep in mind with, with OneNote is it really is just a digital notebook. It's not something that they need to learn that's brand new. Like a three-ring binder. Three-ring binder, essentially, yeah. And so a th even a third grader, and we've seen even second graders, pick up OneNote at a very early age, and they gravitate to things like the digital notebook structure, like the highlighters, like the different colored pens. And so they're really able to pick it up without needing to learn something that's brand new. It's not Final Cut. It's not a in design, you know. It's something that we can see them pick up early and then carrying through the rest of their school and even into their careers. Now, as far as using this collaboratively, if I'm creating a note and I want to share that with my class or if I'm creating a lesson plan and I want to share that with other teachers, what are the sharing capabilities that I have with this? So you have a few options with sharing. So, you know, e even if your class and your maybe the teacher and students all don't have uh, OneNote installed in their devices, they can still, you know, get an emailed page. So you can, you can have one person who's completing the OneNote. That's graph and email paper. email that, yeah, graph you, paper. You can do graph paper in here? You can do graph paper. You can do line paper. You can do all different types of uh, backgrounds on your paper. But, you know, a student could email their page to their teacher just from OneNote. So they don't have to create another document or anything like that. So that's like kind of a basic level. That email is linking that specific page to a teacher. Correct. That's awesome. Yep. So that's using some of our Outlook integration. But really, the thing that we've seen that takes it to that next level is being able to actually share the notebook. So that includes the sections within it and the pages within that. And so then they can work at the same time in the same page. So when I share something with my teacher, they can write on it and give me feedback? Exactly. And I think that's where you see really the, the collaboration element come in where everyone can work in the same place mm -hmm. and real-time feedback allows the student to correct themselves as they are working on a project. So let's talk a little bit about media because I know we can put a lot of things in our one mm -hmm. notebook and the question always comes up should I take a audio file or a video file can I put that into OneNote, or should I use OneDrive and link those somehow is there a file limit or what, what strategies should we use here? Yeah, I think there's, uh, with, with media, it really depends on what you're trying to do. So, I mean, you can insert a video directly into the OneNote Canvas, as uh, Jennifer said. I mean, it's a flexible canvas, so you can just pop it right in there, like a Word document or PowerPoint. But, yes, there are some limitations to inserting a video file that's quite large. So I would recommend, if it's kind of a long video, 
you might want to host it on a OneDrive or maybe on YouTube and get a link and then put that in OneNote and then you're able to you know click on it and jump right to it. I Is add it something to that. Yeah. Okay. And I will add this. Um, so Jeff, one can imagine. I know you have a good imagination. So one can imagine in the future you could embed videos on the OneNote canvas. And so that's something that you can imagine a future where <laughs> that happens. Cool. Now, uh, are all these features available? I know OneNote is an online platform, but we have a, a native app on iOS. We have a window. What kinds of things can we do if we're out on a field trip mm -hmm. and we're taking video or we're taking yep. pictures, but we want to have the kids use this, the system? Well, you, that's a great question. I mean, as you said just now, I mean, they can access that OneNote notebook no matter what device they brought on that field trip. So those students could have their iPhones, they could have their Android phones, maybe some have Windows phones, and then they are able to actually capture the documents or to capture the what's going on around them, you know, photos, maybe some notes about what's going on on the field trip, and they can capture it all in that one place and maybe in a shared notebook like we were talking about. And so then when they get back on their PC or their Mac, they can view all of it and they can start organizing it, they can start, you know, continuing the collaboration that they started while they were on the field trip. And really that builds that lesson that they started on the field trip into the rest of the curriculum. Now I know that as soon as people are going to watch this video and they're going to want to learn how to use OneNote, they're going to want to cape for themselves. Uh, Where can we go to learn more about OneNote so that we can all be, wait a minute, wait for it, OneNote Avengers? Dun, 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 dun. Ah. <laughs> we're going to have that delayed. in slow motion, by the way, on the <laughs> okay, video. Okay, good. Uh, so they can go to OneNoteForTeachers.com is a great place to start. So that is a site specifically tailored for teachers to learn about OneNote, starting from the very beginning where they download OneNote on their whatever device they have and be able to then walk them through creating a notebook, sharing a notebook, and getting the most out of features like the OneNote Class Notebook, which we didn't talk about today, but is a really powerful tool for sharing OneNote notebooks in a classroom. Uh, before I let you guys go, because I'm sure that there's crime to fight somewhere in, the, in, in, in ISTE here, your online community is awesome. Oh, thank you. If you go to Twitter, it's MS OneNote. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, if you just do hashtag OneNote, there is a huge yep. community of support behind all this. And I'll just add on to that. So we have a great community there, and we also now have a new Twitter handle, at OneNoteEDU, where we are pushing out a lot of education-specific content. So there's general OneNote content that's great on at MS OneNote, but we got more coming out specifically for educators on at OneNoteEDU. So look for that. If you haven't checked that OneNote, you certainly should. I know a lot of teachers right now are looking and asking themselves, how can I organize myself for my next semester? Maybe like myself, we're starting a new position and we're like, where do I go to put all these things? Yeah. Check out OneNote. One last time, Ari, how do we become a, no. <laughs> where can we find more about OneNote? OneNoteForTeachers.com. Excellent. We'll be back more from TeacherCast Live at the Microsoft Studios, live from ISTE 2015.